Hi, my name is Louise and I'm at San Mateo Piano. Today we're going to take a look at Kawai's DG30. So Kawai announced the release of this piano in July and we have it at the showroom today. So let's go check it out. So I thought it would be cool to see how this piano looks as compared to a baby grand. I just wanted to shout out the piano movers at San Mateo Piano, Monty and Hilberto, for rearranging the showroom a bit so we could see these side by side. Here on the left is a Kawai GL10, which is a five foot baby grand. And here on the right is the DG30. So the DG30 is a great option for someone who likes the look of a grand piano, but maybe who doesn't have the space for one or who wants more of the capabilities of a digital piano. The price for this model is $54.95 plus tax, and it comes in an ebony polish finish. One of the things that I think is really cool is that there are two lid props, so you can have the lid open at two different angles. There is a keyboard cover and an adjustable music rack. Along with this, there is a three pedal system from right to left. That's the damper, the mute, and the sostenuto pedal. The piano comes with a matching bench in an ebony polish finish that has storage and is padded. Like some of the other grand style digital pianos on the market, the DG30 uses a weighted plastic key action. Specifically, this piano uses Kawai's Responsive Hammer 3 action. If you'd like to see a more in-depth explanation of Kawai's different digital piano actions, including the RH3, you can check out the video that we have linked above. Now we're going to move over to the control panel. There is a pretty big keypad for navigation through the different sounds and settings, as well as an OLED screen. The power button and volume control are on the opposite side of the keyboard. Like Kawai's other digital pianos, the sound for the DG30 is sampled from the Shigeru Kawai Grand Pianos, as well as other Kawai acoustic pianos. Now let's see how it sounds. The DG30 has Bluetooth MIDI as well as Bluetooth audio. This means that you can connect the piano to different music apps on your smart device. There is a USB to host and a line in and line out. There is also an eighth inch and a quarter inch headphone jack. There are a good amount of songs from several different piano books in this piano. So this could serve someone well who is learning piano or who would like to hear how a piece sounds while playing it. We've included a full list of features in the description box below if you want to take a closer look. So overall, I think the DG30 is a great option for someone who really likes the aesthetics of a grand piano but is looking to have the components of a digital piano. I hope this video has been helpful to you, and if you enjoyed it and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.